What is good in your family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only Neo stock and what you should be looking after for the future. I'm also going to break down something very important that could actually help Neo in the future. It could help Neo push up a bit. I'm going to break down why on earth the overall market has some potential to push up more, why on earth Neo is getting some very good ratings from many analysts, and why on earth Neo could actually push up more if it breaks a particular level. That's very very important. Now, before I break anything down, before I get into any more details, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Take none of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Neo community as a whole. And the last things, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below deposit any amount of money into the account whether it's one dollar or a hundred dollars it's up to you you're guaranteed up to 12 free stocks each worth up to three thousand dollars and the best part is any could be a free neo share a free tesla share or a mix of all of them it's a limited time offer the offer ends in just six days check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video so guys i want to talk about today what happened basically neo and tesla got a nice push up to start off the day with the market but as the day was going on the fed was speaking jerome Powell was also speaking and we saw them starting to come down they would look like they were about to get ready to start filling these gaps i mentioned to everyone okay if neil broke below 10.66 ish like around that zone if it broke below that this thing could go for this gap fill and come tumbling down there's potential for that to happen right but what happened was neo did not break that we came down we were going to we could have crashed the whole market could have if jerome powell said something very hawkish or he made a very big announcement instead jerome powell was very careful with his words this time and he didn't say anything that was too hawkish nothing too dovish either he was just he basically said nothing the entire time all he really said was the fed is committed to doing their job the fed is going to work to reach their goals and that is a two percent inflation rate and they will do whatever needs to be done to make it happen that's all he said he was very careful the market was apprehensive at one point we saw the market actually coming down we saw lots of people very worried but despite that despite being very very you know worried and apprehensive Powell was out of there and neo started to uptrend saw lots of Chinese tickers begin to uptrend as there's been some uh, big news coming out about the openings, not to mention the fact that Neo received some good ratings from analysts, and some bullish ratings, and this helped the share price push up by some margin. So Neo's up over 4%. And like I mentioned in my previous videos, I can't always predict the news. I was worried about Jerome Powell though saying something, and that's why I was I did think that Neil could come down to fill this gap. We ended up not doing that. Thanks to Jerome Powell not saying something super, super hawkish. That played a big role. So now that Neil's in this uptrend, there's something very important I want to talk about, about the markets. And I do believe there's potential for Neil to continue pushing up because the trend is getting stronger. Now, let me talk about the week first, the news before I break down the charts. So first off, let me actually start with this. For the week, we have some mortgage data coming out, nothing too serious. For Thursday, it's going to be the, the massive CPI day. That's going to be huge, so be on the lookout for that. As a strong company, NEO also received lots of amazing rewards in 2022 from their big, big entries in Germany to the Netherlands. And on top of that, NEO was also awarded the month's JD Power Luxury New Vehicle brand innovation award <coughs> excuse me and also the es8 won number one in 2022 for the china new energy vehicle performance execution etc so they did very well winning lots of awards for their incredible technology their cars and their amazing innovation that is yet to come i just wanted to note that because they did actually put this on their twitter page and that made that made me very very excited because they're doing quite well from a fundamental standpoint Price price ratio is relatively low from a technical standpoint, but this is going to start bouncing now that Neo is starting to finally do better. And I do believe this thing could start to pop even more, showing signs of improvement in Neo's price performance. 
Saw lots of nice volume today, of course, lots of hold and buy ratings from many analysts. And finally, NEO tends to be green 51% of the time on Thursdays. So it tends to be a pretty decent day. And we did see a bit of a spike in the short interest. I'm not too worried about it just yet. Shorts would have to start covering if NEO does start popping even more. Now, what's good is many big investors are saying investors can make some good money on NEO over. 40 plus percent on their return for the year is what many analysts are thinking and many of them are very very bullish on the stock still so these analyst ratings not to mention you know powell not saying anything too hawkish they did help neo pump up quite a bit we also saw you know china reopening we saw lots of chinese tickers moving to the upside especially with spy starting to push up there's some good things going on so I do apologize because I, I made my prediction and obviously I can't predict everything Powell will say. I, I was I was worried he would say something that would cause a dump in the market. We did see the market come down to levels I thought, but we didn't go all the way down. We actually ended up bouncing off this critical level on SPY, so that's good to see. Now on SPY, this is the good thing for NEO, and this could actually help NEO make an even more explosive move. SPY is starting to resemble a Wyckoff accumulation schematic because in phase A we have this like sell-off, right? And I can't put them side by side, I apologize for that, but we have the phase A sell-off. In phase B, we have the sell test in phase B. See how we like bottom in phase B right there? Well, look at this. We had this big drop, we kind of bottomed at 374. And I mentioned, looking at the MACD or RSI, we had the bullish divergence suggesting that this was the temporary bottom. Right, that's that's how I was able to call that out a couple of weeks ago. Then we have a slight uptrend being respected and another SOS push into phase D. Did we see the SOS push? We were trading sideways and we got this big sign of strength. The big push into phase D with higher volume. Then the volume was still actually increasing as we came down, but we got a nice bounce off of it. And this is resembling this part right here, the last of support before we start to consolidate a little bit so i expect a sideways kind of boring day we might get another pump and this could be because of cpi right i don't think cpi is going to cause us to pump forever i do think it could actually either in anticipation of it or maybe cpi causes a pump a temporary one for another major rejection that could also be the case on the descending broadening wedge on SPY, on the daily chart, notice how this upper trend line right here is where we got rejected from many, many times. Well, if we do retest it, it happens to be around 400. Right here on CPI day, 400, which happens to be above that gap fill. So I'm now seeing signs from Wyckoff to the, the uh, divergences on the market to the squeeze potential, the high put to call ratio and high put volume we saw. We could see a squeeze. The odds just went up after seeing how the market bounced back today after the big push-up. The strength the market is showing, despite the lower volume right here, but the strength we're seeing tells me we could go for the gap fill. We could see SPY hit at least 398, if not 400. So that's now where I think SPY will most likely go if this trend continues. And that's my target. I, I believe that my previous target was 393 to 395. If we break that, which I think we most likely will, 398 to 400 is very possible. And if we do pump up there, okay, NEO could pump even more to the mid 11s and maybe hit $12. That is becoming more likely now on NEO. And in order for that to happen, the first thing you have to note is that NEO is in this zone where it did shop a lot in the past. That's between like 10.8 and about 11.66. So please watch that, that area very carefully. I think tomorrow it might be a sideways day for the market with a little bit of an upthrust to it in anticipation of you know CPI. NEO might pop, hit 11.66, come down to like 10.8, and just trade kind of sideways around here for just a couple of, for maybe most of tomorrow, but I'm still hoping for a pretty flat close, maybe a somewhat green close around 11.37 or so. But then after that, it's gonna depend heavily on CPI. So I don't expect way too much crazy price action. I think we're more likely to hold up, maybe consolidate a lot, 
and anticipation and to get ready for the big days ahead of us, the big CPI report. And if the market truly is going to pump, I believe that this could increase the odds of NEO also getting a nice push to the upside. So anyways, thank you all for listening. What do I think NEO will do? Basically, we might come down to about 10.8 and then push it up to 11.6. This kind of trades sideways tomorrow. I don't expect way too much, maybe a somewhat green close. But going into CPI day, there could be another pump and NEO could even go higher and break back to $12. Maybe we even do that tomorrow. I'm just not as confident because, you know, we tend to consolidate around this time frame, even from a white coffee and standpoint. But Neil could get a break to $12 very soon. It could happen. That would be very awesome to see. But it's going to depend on CPI and SPY. Anyways, thank you all so much for listening. Have a great day. Remain calm, cool, and collected. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Neo to the moon because the long-term future is still incredibly bright. And peace out.